Hello everyone, this is Zephyr here, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World on PC. Alright, uh, let's stop by our room real quick, because we've got a lot of endemic life, so it might be nice to put something else in our room. I don't remember what we set down. Oh, we have our pilot hair. Or no, that's not a pilot hair. Yeah, it'd be nice to set out a pilot hair. Alright, so let's talk to our, uh, our little guy here, our housekeeper, because he has something to say. Salutations, Meowster. That was quite an operation, wasn't it? Well, all agreed that you deserve some R and R, so we decided to provide you with a better with better accommodations. Wait, what? Just select private quarters from the move to a new room menu, and you'll be whisked away to an upgraded room. Ah, oh, sweet! I didn't realize we got our new room already. Do we have any other add-ons? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't. Okay. Um, oh, also, if you noticed in the cutscene we saw where we were lowering into the Rotten Vale, our uh, handler was acting like a weird. She was, like, touching the air in front of her eyes. It's because we have her in the Guildmarm outfit instead of in her handler outfit. In our handler outfit, she would have had these weird binoculars on that she would have been messing with, but she doesn't have those in the Guildmarm outfit, so she just looked strange. <laughs> I kind of wish uh, we would have put her back in the handler for that, but, um, you know what, actually, let's switch her back for a bit. It's unfortunate that it already screwed up, you know, the, uh, the, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, we'll switch her back for a bit. Um, I like the Guildmore outfit, but I like the normal handler outfit as well. But it's unfortunate we already saw the cutscene, because now, you know, it looked all weird and stuff, and there's no going back. But who knows, there might be other cutscenes that need her in her handler outfit. I just want to switch her back because uh, I've spent a lot of time with her in the Guildmarm outfit in, pre in my previous uh, playthrough on the console, so it would be nice to have her in the handler for a while. But let's uh, go ahead and reclaim our pet here. I mean, technically we don't need to uh, reclaim it, but I'm going to. And then let's move to our new room. Private quarters. Or actually, you know what, before we do that, let's talk to our friends over here, see if they have anything to say, because we're leaving them behind. Hey, how's Hunts? Okay, you're dumb. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hey. You know, I wanted to join the commission so badly I ran away from home. My mother, father, everyone in my family were against it. Everyone, that is, except my older sister. I hated that they thought they could control me or tell me how to live my life. It's my life. Okay, fair enough. I don't hate, I don't hate the, uh, um, expert cadet or, god, wait, what was his name? Oh, for some reason I'm having a, a lapse, but I don't, I don't hate this guy. I just, that was a really dumb sentence, and he angered me by saying it. What is, what was he, the, um... Oh, I'm trying to remember the name of the, uh... Was it Elite Cadet? I don't know. I don't know why I'm forgetting all of a sudden. I knew it in the first video. I haven't said it since, and all of a sudden my brain can't remember what they were called. But whatever. Yester, I hear you finished converting the research base into an airship. I think this calls for a reward. From now on, I will help you dispatch your tail raiders. Just su tail raiders safari from the menu. I hope they can help me out. All right, move to a new room, private quarters. Yes. This is our new room. So there's something important I want to show you. Look at this map. See anything odd about it? See, people think that when they finally release G-Rank for Monster Hunter World, the right side of that map will get filled in. Right now, we're only in that left half. That's why it's all colored in and things and there's a lot of blank on the right is because that the, the right hasn't been explored. So people think what's going to happen is the left is our low rank and high rank area, and when they finally release G rank, we'll be moving into the right half of the map. Uh, whether that's true or not, who knows, but it's just funny that they put this map up here that is so clearly not very much uh, filled out. Admire Aquarium. Well, let's wait to do that. First, let's put some pets, and I know this is going to use up a bit of time for our video, but, I mean, it's worth it place your pets. So now you'll notice we have so many more pets we can place, uh, including two for the aquarium. Uh, so let's see. 
I like the Endangler. So let's put him in there. And then... A Wetfish, maybe? Yeah, Wetfish looks pretty good. Oh, no. Let's do Sushi Fish, because they're more obvious. Or, actually, it could be fun to do a Gunpowder Fish. What do they look like? No, they're too small. Sushi Fish it is. And then we'll do the end angler down on the bottom. Okay. And then on the ceiling, we got a couple different things we can put. But we're going to put a bat, because why not? And then the tree. Oh, I hate spiders. I'm not putting a spider there. Let's do the forest gecko. And then the pot area. A uh, wiggler, of course. And on the floor, we'll uh, probably place our pilot hair, because they're rare and cool looking. And they make me happy inside. Yep, pilot hair it is. All right, now we have pets. And you can see them just hanging out. Oh, and it's so nice that we can see out into the uh, Astera, so you know where your room is, which is nice. They, they put a lot of detail into this game. It's absolutely amazing. And now we can admire the aquarium, and you can see your fish. Ah, and you can move the stick around. This is so cool. I love it. Oh my god, this game. This game is so good. Just the small things are fantastic. Hello, Mr. Pilot Hair. You're super cute and I like you. Alright. Now we can head out. Oh, I've got my drink in my Kushala cup again. Oh forgot how much I loved this this game and by that I mean I didn't actually forget but it's just I haven't played the low end parts of the game and experienced the, lo the lower part of the game for many 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 hours months months and months and months and so it's kind of cool to see all this stuff again so we need to head to the research base and talk to their master I want to at least get to the point where we can hunt the Legiana so that we can finish the first two parts of the limited bounties be nice to finish that up today. I don't know that I'll be able to. Um, the girlfriend's out and about, or the fiance, I should say, is out and about, but uh, I'm not sure when she's going to be home. So I don't know how much time I have. I'll be able to play again late tonight, but um, I'll make as much progress as I can. Alright. Eventually, we should probably make some new armor. I hear you're going to the base of the veil. That's it? That's all you have to say? Oy. Now is the time. Are you ready to descend into the depths of the rotten veil? Yes. <laughs> First, we'll see if we can spot Zora Magdros's trail from the air. If we find anything promising, we'll look for a safe place to drop you two off. Well then, off we go. See, there's her goggles. Breathtaking. Rafinos. <laughs> you look so free. So, what's the bottom of the veil like? <laughs> I could not say. Though we have learned much, what we have are mere facts, and not a single clue to what truth they add up to. We know Zora Magdros is heading there, but why? The world is full of mysteries to consume us. Yeah, and delicious mysteries to consume. <laughs> the handler is so obsessed with food, it's kind of funny. It's 
speak of the devil. So much for making it down. That loathsome monster is known as a Legiana. It rules o over all other monsters in these skies. So long as it's out there hunting, we won't be able to reach the base of the Rotten Vale. Oh, I had almost forgotten that you're a hunter. <laughs> How do you forget that? I'm carrying a giant sword on my back. I suppose it wouldn't be too much trouble to ask you to hunt the Legiana before we get knocked out of the sky again. Alright, Legiana it is. Awesome. Uh, before we do that, let's head back to Astera. Just make sure there's no one to talk to. Alright, doesn't look like it. So let's, uh, we're gonna go hunt us a Legiana. check how are we doing on this because I wanted to finish the honey up and then I was gonna try something else why hello there oh my you've always got so much spunk so can I help you now uh, we can do one more quest and then we'll be switching up to a different thing to cultivate we got quite a bit of honey um actually before we do that let's go see if we have any armor that we could make that would be an upgrade to what we currently have. The first has a Wyverian hunter. He's a mysterious fellow, to say the least. And opposing at that, even someone as tough looking as me gets a little nervous when he approaches. So, what are we hammering together this time? Uh, forge equipment, armor. Let's see what we got here. So, Radoban, Slugger, Sleep Resistance, Sleep Attack, Guard, and Bleeding Resistance does not help us at all for a longsword. Giras, Paralysis Attack, Fluvial Expert. Oh, so this is a very useful skill. Uh, Nullifies or reduces environmental damage in the Rotten Vale. So um, you'll no longer take damage from uh, the Fluvia. And it does say Acid, which we haven't seen yet, but uh, there's Acid down there as well, and it'll lower the damage you take from that. It's not really a super useful skill, because it's only good down in the Rotten Vale, but eh, it's still nice to know. Pelico Rally, Paralysis Resistance, Horn Maestro... Stamina Surge, Master Mounter, or, wait, what's Stamina Surge? I don't remember this. Speeds up Stamina Recovery, ah. Master Mounter, Artillery, Divine Blessing, and Windproof. Eh. Windproof could be useful, but at level 1, that's not really going to do much for us. Uh, what is our current, let's see, Sleep Resistance, high, Wide Range, Stun Resistance, Constitution, Blind Sider, not really useful. Botanist, Poison Attack, yeah, none of these are really useful. The Recovery Up could be useful, but we need a plate, and I'm not farming a plate. Detector? No, oh, what's Detector? Shows rare gathering points on the wildlife map. Ah, that's nice. That's actually really nice. Uh, King Beetle, Forager's Luck, Honey Hunter, Leap of Faith, uh, Quick Sheath, and Evade Window. Uh, evade Window could be nice, but we've got Health Boost, so... Uh, what are what are we currently using on our feet? Speed sharpening. Hmm. Wingproof could be nice, but I don't think that's going to be enough to really matter. Divine blessing could be nice though. We'd get level two of it. I don't know. I guess we'll just stick with what we've got for now. Nothing's really like screaming at me that it'd be fantastic at the moment so um i think we'll stick with what we've got it might be rough um but we'll uh we'll make do hey, partner. that was a legiana you remember it from before right it's the same monster that knocked us into the veil 
It wouldn't have if you wouldn't have rushed off on your own, Handler. And the same monster responsible for downing Third Fleet's airship all those years ago. Unless we take it down, we'll never get the research base down to the base of the Rotten Vale. And I just hate the word never, don't you? Come on, let's take out that Legiana. You got it. Uh, how many of the events can we do now? Oh, but one. Sweet. Oh, we can do Cure in the Myth already? Oh, that might be helpful if... I wonder. If I do... I really think this last one's going to be Kieran. But it also, with how many... Well, I guess it doesn't give me that many points more than this. But that Advanced Armor Sphere makes me think that it also could be a high rank quest. And I really hope it's not. Hey, we need to take out that Legiana, otherwise we won't be able to reach the bottom of the Veil. Yeah, we're going to. I just really hope I don't have to try and get to a high rank before I can finish my limited bounties. Jeez, that's going to be a tough go. Alright, Leg Legiana, Embodiment of Elegance. You already know how I feel about that intolerable creature. As long as it controls the skies and the highlands, we'll never be able to make our descent. Do take care of it, won't you? Got it. I'm going to use a lucky voucher. It gets oh, I will never get tired of how quick the loading is on PC because I like I said I still play on console so it takes so much longer on console. Oh, that's but I really want defense. Um, you know what? This is fine. We'll get as much health as we possibly can. Um, yeah, that's fine. I would have liked to have gotten a different skill, but, uh, we've got quite a few armor spheres now. I'm going to finish upgrading our armor so that, uh, we have as much defense as we can get at the moment. feline polisher so that's nice it's funny because I've seen on reddit that some people's um, significant others have been making them the monster hunter type meals and I'm just like oh it looks so delicious but there's so much food there how and it, it, it is very cool though that people's significant others are like oh he he or she loves this game I'm gonna make them the monster hunter meal or something similar and have them enjoy it Oh, but there's so much food there, and I can't eat a lot of it. I can't actually eat seafood, so um, anything seafood-related, I cannot have that is on our thing. But I can have all the meats and all the vegetables. Most of the hunters from the first and second have retired and returned to the old world. The engineers, not so much. We live for the craft. Even if I lost this other eye, I'll still be here banging away. So if the first fleet arrived here 40 years ago, I believe it was... Because there's 10 years in between each fleet, so 1st to 2nd would be 10, 2nd to 3rd would be 10, 3rd to 4th would be 10, and then 4th to 5th would be 10. So yeah, 40 years ago, um, I guess I could see why some of the hunters would retire if they were already older. I mean, I've been playing Monster Hunter for 14 years now, so I guess if you figure another 26 years, I still don't think I'd be retired from playing Monster Hunter, but... Uh, if I were actually having to lug the weapon around, I'm, it might be a hard time. Uh, the engineers, not so much. We live for the craft. Even if I lost this other eye, I'd, I'd, I'll still be here banging away. Yeah, I don't know if I read that here a moment ago. but So what are we having together this time? All right, so let's upgrade our armor. Where's my helmet? Oh, there's my helmet. I really need to organize my equipment at some point. All right, so needs five, five, and five to max it out at 28. That's a pretty good upgrade since it was at, what, 20 before? Oh, 22. So that's six defense there. And it's maxed for the time being. And then let's take a look at our waist here. pretty good and 
Wow, that only gets to eight or to 18 defense. That's not much. Hmm. All right, well, that's fine, I guess, but it's a little weak. Oh, we're going to be out of normal armor spheres. So that should help us out a bit. Make sure we don't get knocked into the ground. I'm a little sad we ran out of normal armor spheres. I always like to hold on to one of each item to make sure that, uh, just for, like, sentimental value, but I'm sure we'll get another normal armor sphere at some point. Okay, this is not the camp I meant to go to, which is my mistake, but that's fine. We'll make do. We'll just have to make our way up to uh, the top. Shoot, did I just see... I think I just saw a red one on it, and I accidentally scared it off. Maybe not. I think you only see them at night. I don't know. I don't know. Where's my... There it is. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Oh great, there's a Palumu here too. Oh, I thought that would take us up. It does not. Okay. Oopsies. That's new. I've never done that before. Interesting. That looks like brains. All right, head over this way. Oh, we never caught any of these jellyfish things, did we? Now we have. Cool, all right. To Legiana. I just saw a shadow. Well, maybe it was just that thing up there. Or, no? I don't know. Oh, sweet! You can see the airship from here. I didn't know that either. There's so many things I never noticed on console that I'm seeing now. And it's not like I didn't look around. I actually spent a lot more, like, I spent so much time getting to this part of the game on the console because I just was taking my time. I wasn't worrying about the limited bounties and stuff. And I also took, like, a week off of work to play it, so I had a lot more time each day to play. But, like, I was doing all the optional quests and things as they came along, as opposed to what I'm doing now, where I'm just going straight through the story. And so I was looking around and paying attention to things, and I still never noticed some of this stuff. It's great. And don't get me wrong, I'm not rushing this. Um... I'm absolutely loving what, how we're playing and all that. I just normally like to do the optional quests and the, uh, no, we, uh, not this. I like to do all the optional quests as they pop up and stuff and just, like, do everything as I can. Um, but I have less time to play and, uh, I want to get all the limited bounties each week. So, um, the only way that's going to happen is if I you know, prioritize those, and, I mean, we'll be going back to doing the other stuff, and it would also help if I didn't also want to still play on console, 
Oh, crap. There it is. But, uh, since I'm trying to play both, it's a little more difficult. Because I have, uh, put time between both of them. Alright, so this is the Legiana. It's uh, a bit more aggressive than a Rathian. It also shoots ice. Crap. That is not what I wanted to do there. Shoot. Oh, you're already poisoned anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so to cure Ice Blight... Uh, I haven't set up the radial wheel yet. We need a Null Berry. Boom. Null Berry gets rid of elemental uh, blights, which is great. Oh, shoot. Like all flying wyverns, you can knock it out of there with a uh, flash bomb, but I usually like to save them for when they're angry, because when they're angry, they're more dangerous than when they're just, you know, fighting you. by that, honestly. break the head, which is good. Alright, now she's angry. Yana scale. Oh crap. Start bouncing now, huh? Nice. Okay. Well, Alright, she's changing areas, so we'll. Let her do that. We'll sharpen up again. Why not? Oh, I had mentioned before the wet fish scales are better uh, wet stones. So a wet stone, when you have no speed sharpening skill, a wet stone takes uh, three rubs to sharpen your weapon. With a wet fish scale with no speed sharpening takes two rubs. So to have a wet fish scale only do one rub, all you need is speed sharpening level one, which is kind of nice. Nope, nope, you're on the ground now. And there's actually a, uh, a greater wet fish scale that will let you sharpen with one rub without any skill, which is nice, because then you don't have to get speed sharpening to have fast sharpening. Oh, 
I broke the tail. Nice. At least I think that was the tail that broke. Yep, it was. Ah, oh, poor Legiana. I'm being so mean. So flash bombs are really useful, <clears throat> mainly because the their flash effect gets weaker every time you use them. However, uh, the real effect you want from them is knocking flying enemies out of the air. And on normal monsters, uh, you can do that as many times as you have flash bombs, which makes them a little cheap. However, there are tougher monsters in the game that you can use three flash bombs and then they're immune. They won't fall out of the air, they won't get... Uh, blinded it's it's a smart mechanic on uh capcom side so you while you're not at the tougher spots you can kind of use flash bombs and make some things more manageable but uh once you get to the tougher stuff it doesn't work out as nice you have to uh really use them when they're truly useful because you'll be limited and it's actually one of the things that screws some people over on harder monsters is they don't pay attention to how many times something's been flashed. And then uh, they'll try and do a flash to stop something's powerful attack. And uh, it won't work. And then they'll get killed by the powerful attack. I love Foresight Slash. Alright, we've got the Legiana nice and weak here. It's going to be going down soon. Uh, I tried to roll out of it. here again. Let's follow it. I don't think it dropped any uh, shinies or anything. Oh, it did. It dropped a, at least a uh, uh, piercing pod. Slinger pod. That's the word I was trying to find was slinger pod. Slinger ammo. Something like that. Jesus. My brain! Traveling, I got a message to look at here real quick. Oh, one sec.
Sorry about that. The uh, the fiance's out at um, dress shopping with uh, some of her friends who are also engaged, um, and uh, they're going to the cheesecake factory. And so she asked if I wanted to, her to bring me back some cheesecake and asked what flavor I wanted. She knew which one I wanted. She she knew, but uh, she didn't want to assume, which is very kind of her, but. I mean, honestly, cheesecake's my favorite dessert. She could have gotten any of them, and I would have been happy. But it is very nice that she uh, thought of me and was willing to get me some, because I know she's out with her friends. She doesn't need to worry about me. Yeah, use these uh, wedge beetles. They uh, make travel a lot faster in a lot of spots. Legiana. Oh crap. I wonder if I can get her down with uh, piercing pods. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a plate on our first carve? What? We got a Legiana plate on our first carve? Holy crap, that's awesome. And also very rare and not expected. That's fantastic. Legiana plate on our first Legiana carve. Very cool. Um, also, if you're wondering why I didn't chop the tail off, Legiana's tail does not come off. You can break it, but that's it. Ah, uh, poor Legiana. Sorry, responding to more messages. Okay, so Legiana, 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 Frostack. Lots of nice stuff here. Very cool. Some money. Hunter rank 9. Legiana's up to level 2 research. Palico's gone up to level 12. Our Vigor Wasp spray proficiency is now at 7. Uh, we got a new medal which is Into the Deep. We can now take on five-star assignments, which is awesome. Uh, new Safari locales are available. Oh, and we got a new upgrade level for armor. How you truly are impressive. Now, our airship will make its descent into the lower depths of the Rotten Vale. Just say the word when you're ready. All right, the time has come. Let's head down to the bottom of the bay. Not quite. We gotta head to Astera first. Once again, we have to check and see if anyone has anything to talk to us about. And people do. Oh, the Elder Melder's here. Hunter, how have you been? As you can see, I decided to move to Astera. <laughs> From now on, I'll be conducting my research here. You'll come by to see me often, won't you? My specialty is milling, a technique developed by the first Wyverians. It allows us to change one type of matter into another. Do you have any items you're willing to part with? I'll turn them into something more useful, or I'm not the Elder Melder. So, what can I meld for you? 
At the Elder Meller, items can be converted into points, which can be used to create powerful consumables and bowgun ammunition. While conventional crafting requires specific ingredients, the Elder Meller offers a great degree of freedom. Items marked with a bonus marker will yield 1.5 times the normal amount of points. More features are available at the Elder Meller as you progress in the game. It's amazing we're still getting tutorials. So you can meld items and stuff here. Um, it can be a useful way to get access to um, different things. Like we can meld Rathian and Anjanath plates, which is kind of nice. Uh, they take a lot of points though, but it's just a nice way to get some things you need without having to uh, craft if you don't want to. Okay. More people to talk to. Just one more. All right. Wait, was it just one more? Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Yep, just one more. Another message. Yeah. All right, come on up here and talk to this guy, the Fiverr Bro. Working hard. Hey, working hard? What's that? You heard me mumbling? Yeah, the chef asked me to wrestle up some ingredients for him. But I've still got so much eating to do. Whoa, you serious? You'll go and get them for You're me? Fine. Wow, th or woo, thanks. You're a lifesaver. Me, f We Fivers have got to look out for each other, eh? Well, here are the details. Good luck. Ah, we need one Shamos hide to get a coral shrimp. Food's not all taste. Color sparks the appetite, too. Red most of all. Hey, they say. But me, I eat the whole rainbow. All right, well, let's go turn that in real quick. Because it's easy enough. Uh, and I think we'll end the video... Well, no, you know what, we can we can play a little longer. I was going to say I'll end it uh, after um, checking out the Legiana armor, but I think we can go to the bottom of the Rotten Vale. I think that'll be fine. Hello, Hunter. How are the bounties and investigations going? I can't thank you enough for all the hard work you're doing. Okay, tell me about what you found. Uh, complete deliveries. Princely prawns. We now have coral shrimp at the canteen. Awesome. All right, let's go check out Legion armor. If I remember correctly, it looks really cool. I don't remember if the skills are any good though. <clears throat> it was the first fleet that requested the second consist of three engineers to every two hunters. They asked for the best and brightest, engineers that were ready to think outside the box. This was long ago, of course. So what are we hammering together this time? Right, let's check out the armor. Oh, we also unlocked ingot armor. Thunder attack, thunder resistance, health boost. Well, that's kind of nice. Windproof and defense boost. <clears throat> so these can be pretty useful. We might make some pieces of this to replace um, our uh, alloy. Because defense boost would move to the boots. We'd lose speed sharpening. I don't know. Maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. We'll think about it. So Legiana armor. Ice resistance. Not super useful. Ice attack. Not useful. Airborne. Not useful. Evade window could be useful. Uh, but it would be getting rid of an attack boost and divine blessing. Okay. Never mind. I'm not too worried about making that. Uh, what about weapon? Um... Ooh, we can upgrade our uh, Iron Grace now. Is that what we're looking at here? Iron Grace 1? Yeah, we can get Iron Grace 2 because we got a Monster Bone Plus, so that's nice. Um, ah, we also learned how to upgrade our Flickering Glow, which needs Sitsu Yaku and Legiana parts, which is nice because, I mean, those are two things we need to hunt anyway for limited bounties. Um, Red Oban scales, so that's not too bad. Red Oban's pretty easy. Hardbone Shotel, okay. Ah, it was great Gyrus hide, so we'll have to fight some Jirotodus. Oh, wow, and we almost got stuff figured out for the net form after that, so that's nice. Looks like we figured out a lot of stuff. Ah, that's how we get to... Okay, so we gotta upgrade the that to get to Legiana's weapon. Okay. Hornitar weapon... Ah, Dragon Bone Stabber. Ooh, it's got Dragon Elements. Right, okay. 
Oh, and the Zor Magdaros stuff. All right. Um, whew, a lot to process there. Ah, it needs more warped bones. That's not so bad. That's down in the Rotten Veil. Vale. All right, let's see. Um, well, first off, let's upgrade this guy. Because we can already. 4,000 Zenny. Proceed, yes. All right. Compare that to our Tsitsi Yaku, which was this one? Yes. Oh, they're like the exact same. Four twenty nine. Yeah, they're the exact same. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever. We'll just use this because they did. Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't realize that was uh, gonna end up being the exact same. Um, so the next form of this would be better, obviously. More green sharpness, more attack power. Well, why then don't we go hunt? Well, hmm. Let's go ahead and head down to the lower part of the Rotten Vale first. We'll get that out of the way. Uh, and then we're going to have to start farming, it looks like. Not really farming, farming, but um, there will be a bit to do. No one else to talk to here, so back to the research base. If I remember correctly, there's no one to talk to here. We'll save actually now that I think about it. Progress saved. Awesome. Now is the time. Right. Let's try this again. Ready to make your descent into the depths of the Rotten Vale? Yes. <laughs> I suppose we need to find a place safe enough for you to depart and, and suitable for camp. There you shall resume your search for Zora Magdaros. And do not forget my request. You must think deeply. What is the Rotten Vale? I look forward to hearing what you come up with. Well then, off we go. I remember... That's weird. I remember the first time that I went to the Rotten Vale. Just before they told me what it was, I figured out what it was. Like, I literally remember thinking, Oh, oh, it looks like this. And then the game was like, Hey, the Rotten Vale, what do you think it is? Ah, you're right, it's this. And I was like, are you kidding? I, I That's what I just guessed myself. That's hilarious. Ah, sorry, I needed a drink. Keep my voice going. All right. Time. To be traces of Zora Magdaros down here somewhere. Search for evidence of Zora Magdaros. I know what the rotten veil is. Me too. And oh crap, this could go okay. We need to eat. I know what we have to do here. This is uh I didn't think we were going to have to deal with this already. Um, that'll work. What? I never noticed that in the Rotten Veil vale, she puts a mask over her face. Where's my mask? Mm -hmm. Oh right, I'm wearing a helmet. I never, again, all this stuff that I've never noticed before that I'm noticing on this playthrough. It's kind of fantastic. Uh, also notice that it automatically gave us the new camp. We didn't have to find it. I think that's kind of funny. All right. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, oh, did we ever get any of these geckos? I don't know that we did. Nope, we hadn't. Okay, cool. Um, 
Yeah, I already figured out what the... Oh, here we go. This this is about the time where, like, right as she said, I think I know what the Rotten Veil vale is. I thought the same thing. I was like, ah, yes. This is from Zora Magdrios. I just knew that it's uh, that it's been here. Uh, but yeah, just... The bottom of the veil lies up ahead. It's the only place Zora Magdrios could have gone. Is she done? Okay, yeah. As soon as she said, I think I know what the Rotten Veil vale is, I is when I came to, like, I was like, you know what? I think I do, too. I think it's this, and then like right after we find out what it is, and I was right, which is hilarious. I just totally, f let's press on. I just thought it was hilarious um, that she's like, I think I figured out what it is, and I was like, I think I have two. Yep. I have figured it out, and it was, I, I keep trying to tell my story, and I keep feeling, There's the acid, by the way. But every time I try and tell my story, I keep feeling like it's getting screwed up. But I know I've told it like three times now. But it's like, I'm trying to tell my story. And then she interrupts me. And then I uh, try feel like I need to tell it again. But yeah, like I said, as soon as I got down here, I was like, I think the Rotten Veil vale is this. And then she's like, oh, you figured it out, haven't you? And I'm like, yep, this is what I think it is. And then like in a few moments, they're going to tell us what it is. And I'm going to laugh. Because I had guessed it on my first playthrough. Of course, now I know what it is because I've played through this game before. But it was just funny the first time around, me guessing it just before. They're like, oh yeah, it's this. I know we've reached the bottom. But what happened to Zora Magic? There's no place else for it to go. I think we should split up and look. <laughs> Odo Garan. Otherwise known as Flesh Puppy of Doom. What are you doing? Go! Don't stop! Keep going! We can't leave her! No, she can't hold that thing off. We've got to help her. Yeah, leave that to me. You're not doing crap. I'll take care of this on my own. I don't need her getting in the way. Don't get me wrong. I like the handler. I think she's fantastic, but she's also not the brightest when it comes to safety. She's not a hunter. She does not have hunter strength, abilities, or skill with a weapon. And yet she's still like, I'm going to go do the things. And I'm like, that's a terrible idea. That's just the worst idea you've ever had. Just let's not do that. Let me do that. And you stay back. All right, Odogaran, flesh puppy, does bleed damage, very fast, quite dangerous. People know it as the noob killer because it combos. It's the first monster really in the game at this, you know up to this point that combos, and so a lot of people who are new to the game are not ready for it. Just watch it. It does attack, and and when it gets enraged, it adds an extra move to its combo. It is brutal. And it hits hard. So you notice that it immediately attacked again. It also can turn on a dime. So you just kind of have to be a little patient with it. Its legs are its weak points. It, Its face of two, of course. Like, everything the face is a weak point. But if you hit it in the legs, you can do good damage as well. And you can knock it over. You gotta be careful though, as two knockover animations, one of which it gets back up really fast and beats your butt. 
you have to pay attention to which one you, you see. Oh, crap. Okay, then. Oh, shoot. Ugh. I got greedy. This music fits this battle so well. And I know it's the same music as Radoban, but it fits this battle way more. Because it's just such epic music. That's the one he gets back up, so don't go after him. And then he attacks again. And again. Shit. You don't have to stand still. It's just faster if you stand still. But uh, he doesn't really like to let you stand still, so... Now, there's a positive side to hearing, healing your bleed. You get an, the effect of an immunizer for a short period. This is the good knockover. Uh, and it, it, immunizer makes you heal your uh, red damage faster. So see how the red damage is now yellow? Ah, oh, crap. It didn't take my button inputs correctly. Uh, you'll see that it's yellow. That's actually healing faster than it normally would. Normally, you get, like I said, you get that effect from immunizers, but you... Uh, get it after healing from bleed as well. And there's another way to heal from bleed, which I forgot I have. A Astera Jerky will heal bleed status effects. Let's actually heal up. All right. Yeah, I love the Odogaron. He's very fun to fight, and he's very cool looking. And he's got some nice looking armor. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a long sword. Other weapons get, uh, one from him, but not Longsword, unfortunately. Which sucks because... Oh, crap. He's weak to Paralyze, which is good in that respect, but uh, it's not good in the respect that I almost got hit by it myself. Um, but it's the reason it sucks is because he his weapons have extremely high sharpness. Shoot, that's my bad. I got greedy. So, uh, it'd be nice to have a Longsword from him, but we don't. Didn't, I, I tried to do Foresight Slash, but I didn't have uh, time to do it yet. It was still too early in the animation. Alright, tail's off. Oh, I missed. Oh, I thought he was going to attack. He did not. Oh, how did that not count? I still should have gotten the hit, even if I got knocked over. Ah, uh, ball sack. Okay, good. We're still in it. Let's heal up for a moment. Alright, cool. Ah, I was hoping that would knock me out of range. Or, I would dodge out of range with my shoot uh, I was hoping that would go a different way Oh, I forgot I got that cam wrong. I forgot I hadn't changed it. That sucks. I need to make sure I fix that after this. I'm like, why is it stuck on him like that? I don't want that. Ah, I wanted to roll. I'm making all the mistakes now. Health booster wore off. Nice. Changing areas. All right. Try and change that target cam while we can. Uh, I don't know where it is though. Um, 
controls, pan, pad, camera speed, mouse, camera speed, reticle controls, pad, reticle speed, aim assist on, reticle direction, what? Aim assist settings, no. Ah, oh, crap, I don't, where, where is it? I know there's a thing to change it. Oh, wait, there's two pages. Okay, that's why. Focus camera. No, I want target camera. There we go. Okay. Uh... Alright, that's fine for now. I don't remember changing anything else. Now that we've spent our time dealing with that... Oh, i got to remember to carve the tail. Let's go do that. Gotta carve the tail, gotta carve the tail. Alright. Like I was sent a photo and I don't know what it is. <laughs> what did I get there? Tail, I'm guessing? Yeah, okay. Alright. Let's try and focus back up, because I know this video is going long now, and I'm making it worse by continually, continually averting my attention. This guy shouldn't be too much stronger. He's probably getting pretty weak. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the target cam. Oh, it's taking the Legiana back to its uh, nest to rest and eat it. That's kind of funny. I knew he was weak. Let's head back to his nest. very sad. It sounded like a whimpering dog. Ow. Oh, it missed! How did it miss? Crap balls. Oh yeah, that's another thing he does. Foresight Slash, but I don't know if I can do Foresight Slash into a Foresight Slash. Ah, it's leaving again. What a dick. Let's carve the, uh, Lagana Corpse. Ah, oh, crap, he came back. He 
he's weak and tired, so he came right back to camp. Oh, crap. Why? Why are you doing that again? Yay. I'm fine, Handler. Just do my thing. All right. warped bones, so let's see if we can get some off of this. Oh, we got two. Not bad. Alright. She'd be with you. I'm going out for another look. No, you're not. <laughs> you're okay. Uh, right. I was scared to death. All right, easy, easy. I'm just glad that you're not hurt. Thank you. I was planning to hide until it moved on, but well, <laughs> you saved me the trouble. Now, now, that's enough. Now, we had a deal, don't you remember? Did you learn all you could about the veil? Now, tell me everything. What did you feel out there? I think... I think the veil is where the monsters come to die. It's their graveyard, and this whole land is a vast ecosystem revolving around. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on. You're right. The Vale is where monsters come to rest. They sense the end and make their way here. Their bodies become nutrients that feed the coral highlands. From death rises new life, which after a cycle returns to the veil to die again. It's an ecological marvel. One that easily dwarfs any I have ever seen. Yeah. But, have you really considered the important question? What's that? Who's at the heart of it? What monster could serve as the nutrients for a system this large? What's the mystery behind the Elder Crossing? You know the answer. They die here. Bingo, an Elder's death is the catalyst. The Veil is Zora Magdaros's resting place. At least it should be. The clues are all here, but Zora is nowhere to be found. It was drawing in energy, storing it as it moved on. 
Was it trying to deliver it somewhere? Hmm, I don't know. But I know who might. The first Wyvarians have lived here much longer than us. Seek them out. Look, it's raining light. Only I could live another 300 years. Maybe that would be just long enough to see the end of this changing of the guard. Friends, you go finish this. I want to stay here a while longer. See what death has to give and life has to bring. All right, and there you have... Oh, we got another plate? Jesus, getting pretty lucky. Um, But there you have it. The uh, Rotten Vale is the graveyard for monsters. Got some nice stuff here. Zoro Magros is up to level 3. Odogaron's level 1. All right. Oh crap! Good to see you. Good work with your re uh, bleh. good work with your field reports on the Coral Highlands and Rotten Vale. Hmm. <laughs> if our tracker and the Third's Master both agree about the Rotten Vale, then we can safely assume that's the Elder Dragon's graveyard, so to speak. We should start focusing the Commission's efforts there. The question is where Zora Magros is gone if it's not in the graveyard anymore, and the first Wyverians may be able to answer that question. I looked into it, and the closest sighting of the first Viverians was in the ancient forest. You can do this. Head out there on an expedition and see if you can track them down. Because unfortunately, we're running out of time. The first Viverians might be able to tell us where Zora Magdros is. Alright, so let's talk to the people, turn in our stuff, and then we'll end the video. Yo. Yo, just got back. Oh, before I forget, the scholars at the research base wanted me to give this to you. I guess the airship engineer gave them some ideas and they decided to put this together. Anyway, here you go. They said thank you and want you to visit again. Enjoy. Vitality Mantle. Basically, it increases your health bar because it can take a certain amount of health damage before it breaks. It doesn't break permanently. It recharges like any other tool, but um, still, same idea. All right, let's head up. A little more, to, well, let's first talk to this guy. You see now why I wanted to know the Elder Dragon's age? My theory needed substantiation. Now we know why, the reason why the Elder Dragons have always had so much energy stored up inside them. So, what is it? Zora Magros, Lagiana, and Odogaron. Sweet. Heading up. You interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? Now that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest, the meat of the matter, and we'll get that menu so beefy the veggies will bleed. You want the gains? You want the glory? Then deliver the goods. Don't let me down. Deliver two lumps of meat. Rotten Vale. And the last place was the armor shop, I believe. Things here may be getting hairy, but we need to keep our composure. Stay calm and go over the basics. First, how's your equipment holding up? I've got some new products in, so have a look. I'm sure there's something you'll find useful. So care to have a look? What do you have in stock? Nothing there. Oh, I bet armor she has something new. Not really. Okay, thanks for not being helpful. Alright, cool. Alright, I think that is a good stopping point for this video. I know it ran a little long again. Monster Hunter tends to do that. 
But thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell icon to get notifications when I upload new videos. And of course, leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video. However, that is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. And as usual, this is Zephyr, signing out.